My name is John Morgan. I'm 40 plus change. Too uh, young for, uh, to retire, too old for a paper round. And I work as a senior peer educator in Belfast Recovery College. I live with a diagnosis of schizophrenia and I've um, been on a long journey. I started off whenever I was 16. I came from a happy home and I went to university for the first time. That all changed and gradually I became iller and iller and I dropped out of law school and went on to be diagnosed with schizophrenia. My illness had always been a source of something that had to be worked around. It was always a barrier. But I was amazed when I went to Belfast Recovery College. It was actually a sense of wisdom and knowledge. So I went to the Belfast Recovery College, not really expecting, I expected just to be another course. I was listening to the course and I was amazed that, that everyone just left their hat at the door. You didn't know who was the professional and who was the peer. I found choice, that people, people could have a choice in life again. They could hope hope in life again. And hope, for me, isn't just a word. You live 40 days and 40 nights without water, but you can't live a day without hope. And for a lot of people, hope is in very short supply. And that course really gave me hope hope to go forward. And identity, I mean, what was my identity when I dropped out of law school? My identity was, what was I, you know? I started off writing a book whenever I was unwell. I was trying to make sense of what I was going through. I started off as a suicide note, and I, gradually as I worked harder on it, it became almost a cry of hope. Towards the end, it was my life story, my autobiography. I was very isolated at this stage, and I never met anyone with the same, the same condition as me, or the same label as me, should I say. My publisher phoned me, someone wants to meet you in Belfast. He's read your book and is interested in meeting you. So all I knew about this person was they lived with a condition of schizophrenia. The self stigma was so great, I was really afraid. I didn't know what I was to expect. So I went there and I met him. He turned out to be a lovely man, and we've been friends for 20 years. I often tell the story of, uh, of a person who came to our course for the first time. So this person came and they were shaking in the corner and they didn't have a voice. And I said, how am I going to find this person's voice? I mean, how? And then I realised, you know, you remind me of me when I was 18. I was shaking in the corner. I was in a mental health unit and I was trembling in the corner. I wasn't going to cooperate with the services. I wasn't going to take the medication. I wasn't going to, I hated my, you know, I wasn't going to cooperate with my family. I didn't understand what was going on. And he sort of took a deep breath and gasped and goes, you, you were like me. And then he seemed to realize, well, what did you do? And I told him, and then I realized the power of being a peer and the power of empowerment and helping him self-empower. Self-advocacy is the hardest one to do. And I think he started representing himself for the first time and he found empowerment to the Belfast Recovery College. I already spoke about hope and I think hope is the most important thing of all for me. Control is really important. Uh, having control and having a choice in your life and having that empowerment that I spoke about earlier is so important and also the opportunity to go forward. I mean, I went from someone in the civil service with a mind-numbing career. And I was working as a, a trainee counsellor and I got fired as a counsellor because I got a negative letter from a psychiatrist and I felt I couldn't do anything. He felt that one vulnerable group can't work with another vulnerable group. That is so, so not the recovery college ethos. The recovery college ethos is everyone can work together. Everyone has a source that my experience and lived experience is an equal for, every, for people with, with learned experience. Well, knowledge is power. I mean, I spent 20 years apologizing to my mother for being ill, and she spent 20 years apologizing to me for not realize, realizing I'm ill. And that education that that it gives people is so important. We did a course recently and um, there was a family member on the course and the family member went back. The family member went back and said, and I understand a bit more about my son. I, I didn't understand before, but after doing your course, after listening to lived and learned experience, professional and the peer together, working together with, with, with um, equals. He said that changed everything for me. And they, they, they sent us an email in telling us that. So that changes everything. It would have changed everything if the Belfast Recovery College had been around in the 90s. It would have changed everything for me and my family. And I'm glad it's there for others and me now. 
My advice for someone to come along would be take the chance. Come along, come to one course. It's free, it's open to everyone in, the, in, in Belfast and beyond. You can come and you can see what it's like and I assure you you'll come back for more because once you come once, it's, 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 for me it was life enhancing. Getting out of bed was a, was a, was a major success um, at one stage in my life. Now um, I come here and I, I, I'm a senior peer educator and I work with wonderful people and, and a wonderful meaningful career and it's a privilege, an absolute privilege to watch other people take that journey as well, go on that journey and it's not, there's no end point in the journey because the journey goes on, it's an aspiration rather than an end game.